But it doesn't stop there. Very quickly, the government takes control of the money. So what we call monopolizes the money supply itself. What we've seen throughout history is that very quickly the government gets involved in where the gold comes from and how it's manufactured into money itself. We said back up here that gold and silver naturally emerges as the money of choice, but now what happens is the government is actually monopolizing or controlling the way that this gold is coming into the market process. Typically what they've done, and we can see this in examples within the ancient Roman Empire, for, for example, and we saw it of course in uh, European history in the Middle Ages, we've seen it in, in North American history in the last 200 years, the government comes in and starts controlling the mint that actually issues the free market money itself. They take control of it and they say, okay, you are going to now produce coinage that we dictate how that coinage is to be made, what its weights are, whose image appears on it. Of course, very quickly we see this, that the government in fact says we own the money and it's allowed to be used within the market itself, but we will always own that money. So this is the monopoly of the issuance of money. And what we've done now is we've moved from government uh, participation and regulation of the market all the way over it into government monopoly on money supply. Such an important aspect in this life cycle of money itself. And again, I want to just remind you that this is the same cycle that's played itself out for close to 6,000 years now. And it's the same monetary cycle that we've seen in every economy, every civilization, and every empire in all of human history. So what's the next part? Well, this is starting to get interesting.